dick, yo. I don't. <laughs> I think you're just gonna see a shadow of me, but I'm gonna keep talking anyway. Um, I am at Vino's in Little Rock. We got an interesting setup here. Um, you have to wait in line and order. Uh, you know, it's not a bar to sit at. It's, it's a pizza place that has uh, craft beer. Um, set up more as a pizza place with a craft beer secondary because you got to sit and wait in line. Um, I, what I did is I just ordered because you got to pay the cashier and then go sit down. So I just ordered two times. And the reason I did that rather than order the sampler is because they're, you know, they're serving the small plastic cups. And I just didn't want to do that. I just didn't. So I just got two pints. Um, my original choice was to have this one here, uh, the Pinnacle IPA, which is 6.5%. IBUs unknown. Let me show you that real good again there. And then um, I was going to have their Lights Out, which is their, their Indian Dark. Uh, but they were out of it. So then I changed. I was going to have their steam. They were out of that too. So then I went to their Lazy Boy staff. Um, I looked this up online on one time, but I, uh, online on one time, I don't remember if it's more of a kind of shadow or an oatmeal. I just don't know. But anyway, it's only 4.5%. It's got a nice color though. So I'm going to actually drink the IPA first. I'm going to let that stout warm a tad. Spears are coming out pretty cold. Um, I guess so it's 6.5%. This is obviously come in Shaker Pines, which is going to be a you no-no know, -no for some. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Big malty, chewy IPA, uh, a lot of caramel going on. I was getting a lot of sweetness on the nose. I'm not getting a very strong nose. It could be because I've got such a strong pizza aroma in here. But I do eat, certainly I am getting some pine, some, some citrus. Heavier on the pine. Uh, nice on you. You know, uh, it, it's good. I don't know how memorable it is. Um, being honest, it's good. It's solid. It does the style just it, It's not anything out of the box what most craft beer snobs are looking for these days. And, and there you go. So, I mean, if you're a serious craft beer geek, I don't know if this is a place you're going to want to seriously take out. Um, just because, I mean, I... You know, I, I, I like to go when I want to sit at a bar, I want to relax. And here I had to wait in line behind several people. Um, well, I came in and I looked around, you know, you know and hope, anyway, it's kind of a mess. But it, it, it's more of a food place that happens to have craft beer than a craft beer place that serves this. How about that? And the pizza's probably very good. You know, by, <laughs> the line up. They don't order any right now. Again, and, and I may. Um, right now, I just want to enjoy a couple beers. So here's the IPA. And I'll relax a little bit. And then I will come back with the staff. Well, how do you do? I'm having a lazy boy staff. Now, I asked her when I did it if it was the Irish style, dry style, or oatmeal staff. Uh, she didn't know. It's four and a half percent. I'm gonna make an assumption. It's probably dry. I might have to look up on our website uh, later, and I'll be able to tell you. Um, it does have uh, the aromas are nice on it. Actually, uh, I finished her IPA. It was, it was good. It was solid. It was very drinkable. It was nothing new under the sun, uh, but you know it was all right. And I will say about the place. Uh, Pints are four and a quarter. Uh, she charged me eight fifty for the two pints. That includes tax, so it's where they must work the tax into the price. I gave her a ten because I did ask her a couple questions. Uh, let her keep the change. But uh, a nice coffee on the nose. I like how I switch gears and forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> Body slight as you guys four and a half percent. Um, I was looking for more body actually, but flavors are very nice. Uh, coffee, uh, some light cocoa. Cocoa is more of a secondary flavor here. That's good. You know, here's the thing. Um, I'm a craft beer, so 
I want, when I go into a brew pub, I want at least people that are knowledgeable about the beer. Um, this, they don't have a bar whatsoever, so you have to stand in line and order your food or whatever you're going to order it. So I stood in line and I ordered my two beers. Because uh, I didn't want to stand in line and get in the for a second. I figured my, my uh, stat would be fine warming up a bit because they do come out of the tap off a cold. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with this place. There's nothing wrong with their beer. Um, I just want a place that's more beer-centric for me. Even a place that's a brew pub and not a brewery. If it's a brewery, you obviously want them to be more focused on, on the beer. A brew pub, you do want some focus on the food. But you do want knowledgeable people there to talk about the beer. And I didn't get that here. And that's something that I personally want. I want uh, at least folks that understand their beer and can talk about it. And although their beers are, are there's nothing spectacular, but they're but they're solid. So, um, will this a place? Will this be a place I try to look up again? Probably not. I think I've done what I need to do. Even though there are, there are flavors that they're out of or don't have seasonally that I wouldn't mind trying. I, again, I just personally I want a place that's more beer centric. So. This is a good solid shot. If you're ever here, the Pinnacle IPA is solid. Six and a half percent. It's a nice chewy IPA. There's some nice caramel up front. Uh, I mean, it does everything it's supposed to do, right? Uh, the malts hit you where they're supposed to. The hops hit you where they're supposed to. Everything goes right. Um, I just know, don't know that it's any, you know, it just doesn't feel like it's anything new on this one. The point is that if you're just talking with friends, you're going to sit and enjoy it. The next time you have an IPA, you're going to forget all about it. And, and I'm kind of feeling the same way about this stout. It's very nice. It's very drinkable. It's very enjoyable. And when I move down the road and have another beer, I'm going to forget all about it. There you go. I hear Fino's Brew Pub. I'll be back.